In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Na2SO4, calcium nitrate plus sodium sulfate. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and to balance it, it looks like we could put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate, and then it would be balanced. So we have a balanced molecular equation. Then we need to write the states for each of the substances. So calcium nitrate, when we put that in water, it's very soluble. Nitrates are soluble. A little AQ, that's going to be dissolved in water. And then sodium compounds as well. They're very soluble, so we're going to put an AQ there. And we kind of expect our reactants to be soluble anyway. Calcium sulfate, though. Sulfates are usually soluble, but let's check to make sure. We look at this solubility table here. We have a sulfate here and then calcium here. So I'll go across and then down. And you see that SS there? That means it's only slightly soluble. Not much of it's going to dissolve. Most of it is going to be at the bottom of the beaker or the test tube. These two compounds will react. We'll have this fall to the bottom of the beaker. So we're going to write S for solid right there after the calcium sulfate because it's only slightly soluble. Just a little bit dissolves. We said nitrates and sodium compounds, both very soluble little AQ dissolved in water. So we have our states. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. So those are the things that have aqueous after them. We can split those apart. So calcium on the periodic table, that's in group two, that has a two plus charge. And then the nitrate, you could look that up or just have memorized that it's one minus. So we have Ca two plus, and I won't write aqueous now, I'll write the states at the end, plus that nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And this subscript here means we have two nitrate ions, so we need to put a coefficient in front of two. For the sodium, that's in group one, so positive, one plus charge. Sulfate, two minus, another one that's really good to remember. So we have the sodium, Na plus, and then the sulfate, that SO4, two minus. And those are the reactants. Now let's do the products. Calcium sulfate, we said that's a solid. It's at the bottom of the test tube. We're not going to break that apart because it's not broken apart in our test tube. So we're just going to write CaSO4. That'll be our solid. And in net ionic equations, we don't split solids, liquids, or gases apart. Plus, we have, we said sodium was positive, nitrate's negative. 2 Na plus plus we have two, it applies to everything here, so two of the nitrate ions, two NO3 minus. So these are the products. We have our reactants and our products. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These ions appear on both sides of the chemical reaction. So if we look at this here, we have our reactants and our products. Ca2 plus on the reactants, I don't have that in the products. Here it's bonded to the sulfate. Nitrates, two nitrate ions, I have them here and in the products. So I can cross those out. Those are spectator ions. They haven't changed. And I notice here there's a mistake. I see the subscript 2 after the sodium. I needed to put a coefficient of 2 in there for this to be correct. So now that's right. And I can see I have two sodiums here and two sodiums here. So I can cross those out. And that leaves me with my net ionic equation. I have Ca2+, plus, SO4, 2 minus, and then this calcium sulfate here. So let me clean that up and write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely formatted net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Na2SO4. One last thing to check, I want to make sure that this is balanced, that the charges are balanced and the number of atoms. So I have a 2 plus here and a 2 minus. That should cancel out and give me a neutral compound. It does. I have one calcium here, one here, one sulfur, one sulfur, and then four oxygens and four oxygens. So this is the correct net ionic equation for calcium nitrate and sodium sulfate. So that earlier error, if I'm to check to see whether the charge and the number of atoms are balanced, I would catch that if I didn't catch it when I was doing the spectator ions. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.